welcome to the Attention Seeking Podcast. This episode is called ADHD, Angels and Demons, the Task Positive Network and the Default Mode Network. The following information is from ADHD 2.0 by Drs. Edward Halliwell and John Ratey. An excellent, detailed and positive presentation of ADHD, the neuroscience and many cutting-edge theories on how to harness the gifts of the condition and how to combat its destabilizing effects. One chapter focuses on two networks of the brain identified through extensive fMRI scanning of brain function. It explains two key networks of the brain. The task positive network, or TPN. This network is seen as crucial to focus and successful task completion. In this state, you don't know if you're happy or not. Your brain doesn't spend time considering self-assessment. It focuses hard on the task in hand. The default mode network. This network is seen as being responsible for two main things. One, creative thought. By processing experiences in the background, the DMN is from where creative ideas emerge, new ideas, understanding. Connecting important things together is the flint sparking source of our new ideas and creative thought. Two, it revisits past events and reflects, making links and connections between our experiences. This is why, for those of us with ADHD, the network can be named metaphorically as the angel or demon. Angel, because our ADHD creativity and fresh ideas often set us apart from neurotypical folk. And the demon, because our ADHD tendency for rumination of the past, for self-condemnation and fixation on negative emotional experiences, often isolates us. The book reveals that in neurotypical patients, the fMRI evidence shows there is a toggle or switch, usually between the two networks. Either or. So when in TPN mode, the DMN is quiet. When in DMN, the TPN is inactive. However, in patients with ADHD, when TPN is engaged, the DMN does not switch off or power down. It often runs loudly simultaneously. The DMN competes with the TPN, which it doesn't do in neurotypical brains. Instead of working in unison, they can work against each other. And this explains why distraction or inattentiveness when focus is needed is common in people with ADHD. We can get stuck in the DMN too. And this leads to rumination on gloom, worry and negativity. Because we have huge reservoirs of past failures, distress, embarrassment stored in our memories. The Curses of the Demon Pirouette syndrome. When not paying attention to simple tasks, and by completing them with DMN still running, we easily forget what we've done. For example, we leave the house going to work only to think, did I lock the door? Have I got my glasses? Did I turn off the hob? This causes a pirouette to return, check, and with relief, find we have locked up. We did switch off the gas, and possibly to search frantically for our glasses to find the whole time they're on our heads. The pirouette syndrome is both anxiety-inducing and time-consuming, often leaving us cursing ourselves and overwhelmed with negative emotion. Catastrophic syndrome. Envisioning the worst-case scenario. Though it's always useful to prepare for unexpected and potential problems when we're working on important tasks, Spending too long ruminating on these pitfalls will always distract and undermine our effective focus on the task's successful completion. The rumination element of this can be so severely debilitating for those of us with ADHD. For example, your boss has made a comment that you see as a criticism. Your DMN will often spin into overdrive, spiralling your thoughts and your feelings into a world of questioning and worry. You relive past errors. You fixate on the comments. You break it apart in a search for what they meant, what the subtext was, and why they would say it. Then you search for what caused the comment, 
often chastising yourself, obsessively reliving every imperfect thing you've said or done, and the embarrassment, all feeding our insecurity exponentially. So how can we outsmart the demon? All the rumination and worry that the DMN can trigger is debilitating and works against the smooth TPN function needed to complete tasks effectively and successfully. But if our DMN can easily reroute our intended mental activity, then the book argues we should have confidence that we can easily reroute our DMN's intended mental activity. By recognising the early signs of potential DMN negativity, we can trick it into an alternative destination. If we sense we are ruminating, fixating, worrying, questioning experiences, then immediately we should try and switch our brains into direct TPN mode. Focus on a single, simple and engaging task. Make a cup of tea or some food. Walk or play with your dog. Play a musical instrument. Juggle. Change your environment to focus on something else. Hug your partner or pet or both. Try a breathing exercise by choosing a four number pattern. For example, four, six, five, six. And then take four breaths. Hold for six beats. Breathe out over five. Hold for six. And repeat. If we refocus the DMN, and curtail its demonic side, it can emerge as it's meant to. The angelic, a creative imagination that contributes positively and pertinently to our task positive network TPN focus. Use the knowledge, be aware, keep active. If you want to comment or get in touch, please do at www changehq.co.uk